QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021 Budget Reports. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. We're now going to be talking about budget reports. Budget reports are going to be different than all the other reports we talked about because all other financial reports, the major goal being of the reports of the accounting software of doing accounting in general is typically to record transactions that have happened in the past so that we can have the financial statements. The financial statements and the use of the financial statements could also be for us to project out into the future, which is the goal of the budget. So everything we've talked about and the major goal of the QuickBooks system is to take the data input, make the data input as systematic as possible, and then create the financial statements from that data input so you can record transactions that have actually happened. Now we want to take that information and then project it out into the future so that we can make projections that we can then guide our performance on in the future. So to do that within QuickBooks, you can't just use the past data that has been input. It, QuickBooks will not just typically generate a budget into the future based on the, t on the input that has been made in the past. But you can take the input that has been made in the past and then do your own projection into the future. We'll talk more about how to do that. There's a lot of different you know, techniques for budgeting, how best to budget into the future. But once you have the budget or once you have a technique, then you can enter the budget into the system and run reports with it. We will go over the budgeting process a little bit more, a lot more, when we think about the budgeting process section when we create this data in our data entry section. So if you want to if you want to go over the budgeting process in more detail, you can think about it there. But I would typically do the budgeting process first thinking about the reports, the financial reports that have been created in the past, then possibly export those to Excel as we will do. And then think about what the budget will be. Then use Excel to, to create your budget to project out into the future, at least using the past data as the starting point. And then make any changes that would be because of the economy or your advertising changes or decision changes you plan to make in the future. Then take that budget, put it back into the QuickBooks system so that QuickBooks can then run reports as time passes, including reports such as the actual thing that happened and compare that to the budget data. You have nice comparative reports that you can run within QuickBooks. That's going to be one of the major value added items you have within QuickBooks. One, you can create the budget by exporting the past data, construct your budget, I would think in Excel. Then you can put that information into the QuickBooks system so that you can run nice reports that will compare what actually happens as time passes to what you plan to happen for the budgeted information. So when you enter the budget, uh, you would go to the company drop down here and you're going to go to the the budget information budget and planning and then you could set up your budgets so you're going to set up your budgets and you have to actually input the budget now most people when, when when they think about a budget you're thinking about usually a profit and loss which is a performance type of statement you're trying to say how am i going to do next time it's kind of like you're guessing how like if you were a runner or something like that, you would take your past score in terms of how far you ran in a certain number of time. Let's take it that way. Like how far can you go in an hour? How many miles can you run in an hour? And then you would then compare that to the future and say, well, I can do a similar thing in the future. That's the same kind of thing as the budget typically because you're typically thinking about the performance statement. How much revenue did I generate and how much expense did, it, did I incur in order to generate that revenue in the past? Then I want to do, see if I can duplicate or improve on that performance. Hopefully in the future, I'm going to budget to do that. I'm going to set a goal, set a plan, and that's going to be the plan that my performance will be. And so basically you have all your income statement accounts and your balance sheet accounts. It breaks it out by month so that you can have to actually data input that in. Now doing this data input, we will do the data input. It looks very tedious, but you can copy a lot of it across. So obviously, if we're talking about an expense that will be the same each month for the entire year, then we can simply copy that across. We don't have to manually input it all the way across. So we'll get into the data input when we uh, do the budgeting section of our practice problem. We'll actually construct this data. And you also have a budget for the balance sheet, which is something that's a little bit more confusing to do because what you're doing there is trying to say where you will be at the end of the at that time place in other words if in our race analogy you would try to say well where will i be locally like where will i be after i run that far <laughs> what you know what location will i be at at the end of that time period after i run for an hour 
that's kind of what you're doing with the with the balance sheet but it's a little bit more confusing to think about that because um, there's a lot of accounts that are going to be involved so we'll discuss a little bit on theory on how you can put the balance sheet together so that you can predict where you will stand in terms of not just uh, the total balance sheet but but you know the line items on the balance sheet cash accounts receivable and so on and so forth once you have this data input then you can run the budgets and you can run the budgets by going to the reports drop down you can go to the budgets and then you have the budget overview overview and the budget versus actual the main two uh, reports that you will be looking at you can also get into them by going to the reports drop down and going to the reports center and then I'm going to expand the reports center, maximizing the screen. So the screen is now maximized. And then we're in the standard tab. And then we want to go down to budgeting on the left hand side. We have the budget overview. So if we run the budget overview and I'm going to say I'm going to do it for the income statement and you can do either one if you enter both. But we want the income statement because that's probably the, the where you want to, That's where you want to start when you start thinking about budgeting. So I'm going to finish. And there we have it. So now this is for the entire year. This is just all this is doing is reflecting the data that we put into the budget. And it gives us this breakout of what we expect to be happening in a nice report format that we can then provide to someone else. We could do this, the similar kind of filtering type of options that we might want to do, uh, such as running this. I mean, if I wanted to run this for the total and then I wanted to run this, there it is for the year. That's our budget for the year. If I want to run it on a quarterly basis, then we can say this is what we expect to happen on a quarterly basis. We can change the time frame and so on and so forth up top. Now, the other report that's really nice is to budget what actually happened compared to what you predicted to happen. So when you do the budget, you start with a predict prediction and then you're going to then the time passes and what actually happens happens. And then you want to compare what you predicted to what actually happened, just like you would if you're trying to figure out how how many miles you can run in an hour. You predict it, then you do it, then you see how close you got, and then you try to improve. So let's do that. So that's going to be the other report. So let's go the budget versus actual. So I'm going to go back to the report center and the open windows, and let's open up the budget versus actual report. Run that report. And let's do it for the income statement again, profit and loss statement. And then we'll run that one, run that one, and so so now in our data set we're going to be entering data uh, for january and february so february is the, the period in which we have actual data actual data has passed now so let's concentrate on february first so i'm going to say this is going from oh one oh let's go oh two oh one two one to oh two twenty eight two one and so now we've got our February data. So this is what, what actually happened. This is the actual data that was put into the system after February had passed. We had put a budget in and we're imagining the budgeting process was done before February had passed. And then we can see what actually happened compared to the budget. This is really what QuickBooks does well. This is one of the major benefits you have of putting the information into the QuickBooks. In other words, QuickBooks is not so much a tool for making the budget other than to provide you the financial statements that happened in the past on which you want to make the budget. Then I would suggest using some other software or using Excel, which is fine. Excel is a great tool to just to then construct your budget based on past data and then what you think is going to happen in the future. Then it's useful for QuickBooks to put it back into QuickBooks so you can run reports such as this as time passes, giving you what actually happened compared to the budget and giving you the difference and then the percentage change. So that's going to be a, a, a big tool uh, within within the QuickBooks system. And that's why you'd kind of run the budget. And then obviously on this kind of information, you can then uh, adjust your plan possibly for the future uh, as 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 you as you see how close you got to what you planned to do. So that's going to be the, the basic overall system for the budget. We will get into the to the whole process of the budget in a lot more detail in our practice problem at the end of the practice problem. I uh, will get into budgeting, so if you're interested in that, you can you can jump down there.